this is Bohol, a lush island in the Philippines situated close to Cebu and north of Secure. Bohol consists of two parts, namely Bohol and Panglao. The island is particularly renowned for the chocolate hills and the tiny tarsiers that live here. But that's not all. Bohol also features several spectacular waterfalls, stunning beaches and rice fields. In this video, I'll share information on how to reach Bohol and Panglao, where to find the best accommodations and the must-see attractions and activities you shouldn't miss out on. So let's go! First, how to get there. If you're traveling from Manila to Bohol, the airplane is the fastest and most cost-effective option. You can fly to Bohol Panglao for as low as 15 euros per person, one way, and the flight takes only one and a half hours. When you're traveling from Cebu to Bohol, it's best to take a ferry. The direct ferry departs from Cebu Pier 1, the harbor located near the center of Cebu City. Several providers such as Ocean Jets and Supercat Fast Ferry operate this route daily. The boat journey lasts approximately two hours. If you're traveling from the southern part of Cebu Island to Bohol, Apocop Travels Ferry runs daily from Aslap to Takbilaran port on Bohol. From Secure as well, you can take a ferry to Bohol. Once again, you have the option of choosing Ocean Jets from Secure Pier to Takbilaran port or Apocop Travel from Lorena Pier to Takbilaran port. The crossing takes about two hours. A little tip. Ensure that you book ferry tickets in advance to secure them for your preferred date and time, because they can sell out very quickly. Where to stay? On Panglao Islands or Bohol? If you're looking for tranquility and beautiful nature, we recommend staying on Bohol itself, perhaps near the Lobok River or in Enda. During our stay, we spent one night at the Fox and the Firefly Cottages, a lovely accommodation situated by the Lobok River, which also boasts one of the few restaurants in the area. Additionally, we stayed one night in the Lobok River Resort, also a great choice alongside the river. If you're looking for a lively spot with numerous restaurants and nightlife options, your best bet is to stay on Panglao. This is where you'll find the major resorts, countless bars and well-known fast food chains. During our trip, we stayed here for one night close to the airport as we were flying back to Manila after our time in Bohol. One night was more than enough in our opinion. Things to do. Bohol is a fantastic island to explore with a scooter. The scenery is beautiful and with a scooter you can leisurely explore the islands at your own pace. The wind in your hair and stopping at places you come across along the way, it's definitely the most enjoyable way for us to discover new spots. Keep in mind that Bohol is a pretty large island, so you'll cover quite some distance. We rented a scooter for two days through our accommodation and paid around 8 euros per day. The costs for refueling were about 6 euros. Bohol boasts several spectacular waterfalls, making it the perfect destination for a few days of waterfall hopping. The most stunning waterfall on Bohol in our opinion is Pahangok Falls, also known as Twin Falls. The waterfall gets its name from the fact that the water flows down on two sides. Essentially, there are two waterfalls side by side. The natural pool at the base of the waterfall has a beautiful turquoise color and is perfect for cooling off. To reach the water pool, you'll need to descend 500 steps and then walk across a bamboo bridge. From here, you can jump in water from the rocks. The waterfall, the water and the bamboo bridge create a fantastic scene. And the waterfall can be visited free of charge. It seems like every island in the Philippines has its own Kawasan Falls and Bohol is no exception. This 20 meter high waterfall is surrounded by beautiful nature. From the parking area, you will walk through a series of constructed steps and cross a stunning bridge to reach the waterfall. Get ready and jump in! I've read on various blogs that there is a small entrance fee to visit the waterfall. However, when we went, there was no one there, so we didn't have to pay anything. The Kan Uman Tat Falls is an impressive waterfall situated in the remote area of Kandijai. The water plunges from a height of approximately 60 meters and standing next to it, you'll feel so tiny. At the base of the waterfall, there's a water pool where you can swim. It takes about a 5 minute walk from the parking area to reach the waterfall. 
The waterfall is free to visit, but they might say it's mandatory to have a guide accompany you down. It's then up to you whether you want to give the guide something or not. Do you have some extra time? You can also pay a visit to the Kamugao Falls, the Kinahugan Falls, Inkuman Falls and the Makaso Falls. In the heart of Bohol, you'll discover an exceptionally unique landscape known as the Chocolate Hills. As far as the eye can see, there are over a thousand cone-shaped hills ranging from 30 to 120 meters in height. During the dry season, these hills take on a chocolate-like hue, hence their name Chocolate Hills. According to a local legend, these hills are the tears of a giant who wept for his last love. At the center of the area, there is a viewpoint that offers a panoramic view of these natural wonders. We had to pay 50 pesos per person to access the viewpoint. One of the most enjoyable activities we did in Bohol was hiking through the Binabaye hills in Alicia. These hills offer a picturesque landscape with green slopes and stunning views. The hike uphill takes approximately 30 to 45 minutes, but it's quite challenging since you're constantly walking steeply uphill. Once you reach the top, you realize the effort was worth it and you can unwind while enjoying a magnificent view. Despite not arriving very early, we had the area all to ourselves. After taking some time to relax and soak in the scenery, we walked back down to the starting point of the hike in about 30 minutes. To do the hike, we paid a 30 pesos environmental fee and 300 pesos for a guide. He leads the way up and shares information about the surroundings. The area is open 24-7 and if you have a tent, it's also possible to camp overnight. A little tip, do you have a sensitive skin? Make sure to wear low-cut pants or sport leggings. The path you walk on is surrounded by plants that can graze against your skin, causing it to turn red and warm. Additionally, bring plenty of water and make sure to apply sunscreen. Then, the Philippine Torsier Sanctuary, which is a conservation center dedicated to preserving the endangered Philippine Torsiers. Torsiers are found only in the jungles of Borneo, Sulawesi, Sumatra and Bohol. These small mammals, about 15 centimeters in size, have enormous eyes. Due to their sensitivity to change in their habitat and other threats, tarsiers have sadly become an endangered species. Therefore, efforts like the Philippine Tarsier Sanctuary are crucial for their survival. You can visit a park with a guide. Since tarsiers are nocturnal animals and usually sleep in trees in dense areas during the day to protect themselves from predators, they're very challenging to spot. The park guides search for the animals in the morning, so that when tourists arrive, they know exactly where to find them. For visiting the Philippine Torsia Sanctuary, we paid 150 pesos per person. While Bohol is mainly renowned for its chocolate hills and other natural attractions, there are also several stunning rice fields to be found on the island. One of the most well-known is the Kadapdapan Rice Terraces. These rice fields are situated in Kandijai on the eastern side of Bohol and are definitely worth a visit. You can combine your visit with a meal at Eleuterio's restaurant and rice terraces, which offers a fantastic view over the fields. Other beautiful rice fields can be found near Pahangok Falls. We stumbled upon these fields thanks to our guide who took us to the Pahangok Falls and also works in these rice fields. He mentioned it as we walked down to the waterfall and asked if we were interested in seeing the rice fields. We agreed and it was absolutely stunning. You can find the exact location down in the description. Whether you're staying on Panglao or on Bohol, a visit to the Lobok River is a must. The river is surrounded by a lush jungle and palm trees. It's wonderfully serene, especially compared to the bustling Panglao. The Lobok River is a popular tourist attraction, offering various activities such as river cruises or more active options like pedal boarding. In the evening, you can take a cruise to spot thousands of fireflies, a truly unique experience. On sunny days, the river water takes on a beautiful blue hue. But if you're there on a rainy day, the water may take on more of a brown color. 
Nevertheless, it's an amazing spot you shouldn't miss out on. Boho also offers a selection of beaches where you can enjoy a relaxing afternoon. Our two favorites are White Beach in Enda, a stunning piece of paradise known for its, as the name suggests, its white sand and turquoise waters. Despite not finding Panglao as fantastic, South Palms Beach stood out as one of the most beautiful beaches on both Boho and Panglao. The beach is part of the South Palms Beach Resort, but is also accessible to non-guests. The sand is pristine white, surrounded by numerous palm trees. You can also relish a breathtaking sunset here. Last, the Bilar Man-Made Forest, an artificially planted grove of mahogany trees established in the 1960s and the 1970s. A two-kilometer-long road winds through the forest between the towns of Bilar and Lobok. The tall trees on either side of the road have grown to meet each other, creating a fairy tale like tunnel. It's the perfect spot to capture some Instagram-worthy shots. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this Boho video or found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss any future videos. I hope to see you for my next one. Bye!